Yes guys, today I'm taking you behind the curtain for my latest hair system cut-in. Today we're going to be applying the Coyus Le Vivid hair system. It's a thin skin, it's a really nice system, it lasts about 4-6 to six months, it's about 115% density. I know I usually go for the 100 to maximum 105%, but that's not a hard and fast rule. Very occasionally I push the boat out and go for 115. What you can see here is my stylist Myra. She is just trimming the side of my natural hair, keeping a bit of length, usually about two inches at the top of where my natural hair is, just so that it can blend with the hair system itself. You might find that if you cut it shorter than that, the hair system hair can become a bit static. So you need to make sure there's enough hair there to blend it with. As you can see as well, this is what a hair system looks like untouched, a little bit long and a little bit straggly. But what she's doing here, she's just going to measure from the eyebrows to where I want the hair system to land, usually about three to four fingers, and then she just marks it with a pencil so she knows where she's going to put the hair system when it is applied to my head. That spray was just a bit of scalp protector. I always use it. I recommend anyone use it, especially if you have a sensitive scalp. It really helps with the bond. It really, really helps reduce itching and it really helps reduce any sort of redness. Now you can see that Myra has cut the base. She's attached the tape. It was blue tape she put on and she's going from front to back. I always recommend doing front to back because at least you know then exactly where the hair system is going to land. She's pulling it a bit at the back because she doesn't want any bubbles or kinks or ridges to appear just to make it feel really, really comfortable and natural on your head which is why you can see she's just pushing down on the base just to make sure it's as flat as possible. She's just combing it out now and after this point, what she starts doing is she gets the scissors out and she just takes the length off because I do not want my hair that long, not many people do. We're gonna be going for about two inches in terms of length, two inches to 2.5. So she's just taking the length off around the perimeter of the hair system base. And as you can see, just looking at the back there, it's already starting to look more like a hair system, more like it's attached to my head, more like you've seen in other videos and images of hair systems on people's heads. So please don't worry if a hair system arrives for you and it's really long and it doesn't look like a hair system. You can see here she's blending it now with my natural hair on the sides just to make sure I've got a nice sort of skin fade there, taking any length off where it needs to be taken off and just sort of cutting in to the hair system itself. You can see already it's starting to look a lot more natural than when it first went on. Just taking a few extra little bits off here and there. and now with the blow dryer as well. So with the blow dryer, she uses that because it just adds body. She's using a, a round brush as well, just to add body, and I wanted some hair up at the front. So using a hair dryer on cool heat, if possible, is really the best way of doing this. And what she does at the end, just checks if there's any stragglers, if she's missed a little bit, she's incredibly thorough, 20 plus years in the industry of hair system styling making sure that it looks as good as it possibly can do. And as you can see with the finishing touches, I'm just having a very bit of light product put in the hair just to add that little bit of body, just to give it that nice sleek look.